But when you do write, they're still very poignant, mature songs, because Rupture and Why are definitely um, something that hits you. Um, it's not fleeting. These, these are songs that have the same kind of impact as uh, the cran Cranberries once did, you know, in the That's beginning. Great. Yeah, it's very hard for me to know, you know. But, you know, as you get older, you're toying with your sanity and, uh, you know, depression and, yeah. you know, your parents die, you're dealing with bereavement yeah. and getting older and coming to terms with getting older. And you kind of wonder what it's all about, like what's life all about? You know, you just, you're born, you live, you get old, you die. <laughs> it's kind of like, right. get a bit skeptical about it all, you know? When I first heard these songs, I was very impressed that... Um it's almost like okay, getting older, but that still works with rock and roll. Any um, any sort of experience in life, it's like any other yeah. piece of art. Where we used to think rock and roll was just for the young, it's uh, really not anymore. <laughs> it's <laughs> no, right? And I mean, the amount of artists that we've lost in recent years, Prince yeah. and David Bowie and like Michael Jackson and. You know, uh, a lot of those artists were still young. Yeah. They weren't really old, you know. They were young. And it just shows that you just never know how long you're around for. It, you it, know, like Chuck Berry was older. He had he a was. long life. But, but uh, the likes of Prince and Michael Jackson, they were young. I didn't expect that. No. You know, or even I, Bo I wouldn't Bowie. Thought. Our Bowie, he was still young as well, like he was only in his 60s, and he looked so healthy, like... Yes. He always looked very healthy and slim, and, you know, he looked the picture of health, you know? I I wouldn't have expected it. No, it, it, it just goes to show you that um, I see some of these um, stars that they don't look well, um, there's smoking like three packs a day but they'll live to be a hundred and yet someone yes. who takes care of themselves will um for some reason get ill it's very life is so strange like that um yeah but i also want to say about your your songwriting i know you have this natural songwriting chemistry with with hogan and um it just seems so natural. I, do you find that it's so different when you uh, you write a song on your own compared to having another person um, with you doing it? I think like that, uh, you know, I really notice the difference between what I write on my own and then when I collaborate with Noel, I can tell straight away, oh, that's a collaboration. Yes. And that's not a collaboration. Yes. That's one she did in her own. And it's because, you know, when I'm writing, I, I write the chords and then I write the chorus and the verse and there's a bridge. Yeah. But with Noel, Noel sends me chords and uh, he sends them without a structure. He just sends a load of chords all written and he's just playing and playing. And then afterwards, we'll put a structure on it and I, I'll put down my melody and then my lyrics and put it together. But I find that there, there's a, an obvious difference between what I write alone and what I collaborate on. Yeah. 